My name is Patrick Mellick. I'm an Associate Engineer at Amitech PMC Dynamic Fluid Solutions Group. Welcome to another video in our how-to series. Today, we'll be discussing the installation of a blower in a spa application. This video shows a typical installation. You should contact your Amitech Associate if you have questions in regards to your particular application. Before we discuss the blower, let's talk about the air line to the spa. The line should be at least 2 inches in diameter, and if it's over 50 feet long, it should be 3 inches in diameter. Always keep the number of 90 degree bends to a minimum. The outlet line should have a low pressure check valve installed close to the spa, so as to keep as much water out of the line as possible. In addition, the line should have a Hartford loop. This loop has a top dimension at least 12 inches above the level of the blower. Allowing water to enter the blower will ruin it in a very short period of time. The loop may be placed anywhere in the line, wherever it's convenient. If noise is a consideration, an inline muffler can be installed in the outlet flange. From there, metal pipes should be used for the first 5 to 8 feet. An adjustable relief valve should also be installed in this line, approximately 3 pipe diameters in front of the blower, with a pressure gauge in order to properly adjust the relief valve. For instructions on that procedure, see our how-to on setting pressure relief valves. Now let's look at the blower. The blower should be placed on a flat level surface, and if possible, bolted to the floor. The wiring diagram can be found on the barrel of the motor, or in the terminal box if your motor has one. The blower should be wired by a qualified electrician to an appropriate supply line. Before the blower is connected to the piping, it should be run to ensure it's turning in the proper direction. With the piping disconnected, place a stick over the outlet and feel for air movement. Due to different phasing across the country, air may be coming out of what is normally the inlet side. If this is true in your case, a simple switch of wires 5 and 8 will solve the problem. Once correct air movement is confirmed, the blower can be attached to the pipe already assembled. On the inlet side, we strongly recommend installing an inlet filter to protect the blower from ingestion material. Now you're ready to bubble your spa. As always, we hope you found this video helpful and look forward to assisting you in our other videos. Thank you for watching.